The question today is, what podcasts do you listen to on a regular basis? It's actually a call to action, because I want to hear your opinion about that. Guys, are you wondering what other people might listen to to improve their target language? Or just to get inspired, because that can have a positive impact on your motivation too, of course. Well, these days there are thousands of great shows out there. Hey, podcast people, how's it going? Azrin, the language nerd here. Hope you're doing very, very well. G'day, guys, and welcome to Aussie English. This is Rock and Roll English. Real people, real English. Here's your host. This is the You Can Learn Chinese podcast. For everyone who's trying to learn Chinese or reaching for the next level, you came to the right place. Ciao a tutti e benvenuti a questo nuovo episodio di Italy Made Easy Podcast, il podcast creato apposta per studenti di italiano come te. I can't keep up with all that stuff. I don't know how you feel about that. And it's not like eight years ago when there were only a few shows available. So I think you may share with us and just give us a short explanation of your favorite podcast. I mean, we are all curious what others might be listening to, aren't we? And maybe we are missing out a great podcast. That would be a shame, guys. So, which points are important? Well, first off, the name of the podcast you are listening to, and then maybe give us a short explanation. We definitely want to know more. We want to know more. We want to know what it's what, what this is all about, you know. And the second point is, what do you like about it? And do you think it could help you improve in your target language? Don't be shy, guys. Speak up and share with us. Who wants to be first? Okay, okay, don't worry, guys. I'll start first. I came across the podcast called English with Dane. Hey, what's up? What's going on? Welcome to English with Dane a podcast designed to improve your English. Today's episode is an accent challenge, so you better be ready to listen. Hit it. That ain't me. I rather talk about my reality. If you said American accent, you are correct. The speaker is hip-hop superstar Kendrick Lamar. What I particularly like about this show is that the host, Dane, integrates from time to time Spanish vocabulary in it. The first word I want to talk about is tired, cansado. The correct pronunciation is tired. We divide it into two sounds, right? Tie and red, tie red. I get it. However, sin embargo, we have to take into account that in English, we don't always pronounce things as they are written, como están escritas. Dane is an English teacher and most of his students are Spanish speakers. And it doesn't bother other learners at all because they are not scattered all over his podcast. And that way I can learn English and at the same time I pick up a few Spanish words, which is a win-win situation for me. And Besides that, it's a unique show because there are a lot of different topics. Dane covers movies, TV shows, music, strange news, history and more. And nevertheless, the focus always lies on learning practical vocabulary and become more fluent. So, as I said before, it would be really great if you could participate and by the way, it doesn't matter what languages you are learning. So send me an email to myfluentpodcast at gmail.com, please, guys. Or you can send me a private message on Facebook or Instagram. You can choose if you want to send me a short text or you can even send a short audio file. That would be awesome. I mean, that could be just one or two phrases, but I would really be glad receiving a few feedbacks from you guys. 
Okay, so I'm currently listening to English with Dane and the next episode will be dedicated to his excellent show. I will make something like a review and give you more details. It's definitely worth it. So stay tuned and thanks for listening to my film podcast. I'm Daniel Goodson. Have a good one. You were listening to Scott Holmes, Indie Rock.